I'm Zachary the Werewolf. Um, current conditions, well, thug. <laughs> that is and correct. I'm currently my darkest self. Condition three. <laughs> Uh, condition, we're about 50% of the way to Bloodborne. Yeah! Ah. Alright, uh, um... Okay. Right. Yes, As strings on the werewolf man. On Zachary, uh, strings on me are one from October and one from Aziz. Everybody got that? So it's a That's tie. Yeah, I'm just carrying me all like, uh, October. My boy, I want you to highlight Volatile. Okay. Yeah, well, that makes uh, my choice really easy. Let's go with Dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll go second. I'm being October. <coughs> Shit is going down. My friends have been hurt. It is time for... It's time to get the hell on out. Let's see here. Um, Aziz and Zachary both have one. I, wait, no. Is it strings have, on me? I have two on you. Yeah, it's strings think, on you. Person with the most yeah, strings it's... on you picks for you. Yeah, yeah. And I think, I think I've also got two. Do you? Okay. Uh, wow. Okay. So it's still it a tie. Huh. Weird. Anyway. In, in any case, we're tied, so once again, you get to choose. <laughs> Uh, curbs you pick. Um, let's go hot. Alrighty. Uh, I'm gonna go volatile. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna need to hit people or run away. So it's gonna be. Play. What? No, I was just saying, yeah, so I was hoping someone would pick that, and I have a. Right, and now I can't have a meta reason to go fight a, a werewolf. <laughs> or you have a meta reason to right, so run the fuck away. I think by oh, yeah. right, since they went well, when my dark self without game to four harm, I would still have one harm. Yeah, you keep okay. your harm. Yeah, that's why I was checking. Okay, and then my my character is Aziz the genie, <laughs> and. Uh, he has one harm right now from his little, little tussle with uh, <laughs> Juanita, I believe it was. And uh, he's got the conditions for carrying... Fo uh, the only conditions he has is carrying one forward and investigating the Dionysus Club and... the said club. And, uh, yeah, the only one with it... Uh, the only player character with any strings on him at all is October, courtesy of him having to break away from uh, what's her I name? I still have one on you. Uh, uh, actually, don't. Yeah, that's wrong. Sorry. Yeah, yeah so it's around. just October. Alright, well, I'm gonna ho highlight Volatile for you as well. Alright, then. Let's go with Hot. Let's keep it bounced. Hot and Volatile. That's something you want to do. Uh, <laughs> this is everything is volatile. By the way, That's... I don't know if we got that on on the mics, but uh, October currently has the conditions: nosy, pushy, and feisty. Gee, I wonder who is the troublemaker. <laughs> All right, I want to push the wolf button now. Okay. I pushed it. That's a very weird sound wave, I just gotta say. Alright. So, where we last left off, Zach, Zach, Zachary, Zach and boy, was upstairs, alone, looking for Juanita, because she had mysteriously disappeared from where she was supposed to be unconscious. And, uh, <laughs> yes, you tried to use your heightened senses to maybe get a beat on her. And that didn't really work. You couldn't sense her anywhere. And so you got very upset as moonlight mysteriously poured into the room because the aesthetic is good. And now you are a wolf. And you howled and stuff. Is he like a wolf wolf or is he like kind of like a werewolf? Kind of wolf? 
Mm-hmm. Are you I a wolf say... or are you a wolf man? Yeah. I would say. Hmm. I would. Well, I'm a uh, usually a wolf and. Uh, I would say slightly bigger wolf than what it would usually be if I. All right. So he's a dire wolf right now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, alternatively, he's a Princess Mononoke wolf for all you weebs out there. <laughs> oh boy, that is big. <laughs> Alright, and I only. Oh wow. I only have like one more experience to give to my next. Wait, fans. Just bite somebody. Oh, I'm definitely grim. My darker self is all about the violence. Good job. Because this, this is my dark self. You should read it out loud so everyone knows what's going on. Well, I mean, for our listeners at home, it would be like five minutes ago, because they can just pull the last episode. But yes, for everybody here, go ahead and read it out again. Okay, so you you transform into a terrifying wolf creature. You create power and dominance, and those who are earned through bloodshed... If anyone attempts to stand your way, they must be brought down and made to bleed. Curse yourself when you wound someone you really care about or the sun rises, whichever happens first. Oh, snaps. Mm. Mm. Uh... Alright, uh, so, well, that's the situation you find yourself in. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so do you start this transformation off with the wolf howl? I'm pretty sure we established that last it's, time. It's afterwards. It's like transforming fence to Wolf Hell. Okay. So we're all downstairs. The party's kind of come to a stop, and all of a sudden we hear Wolf Hell, like really close, really loud. The party has debatably come to a stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, okay, the poolside party. Oh yeah, no, that's that's stone cold silence. There's a whole bunch of people, you know, with broken bones and stuff. Just like. Some of whom can limp home, and some of whom are being, you know, carted off in trucks. Because October felt very strongly like they might get stabbed if they insisted on calling 911. <laughs> but yes, no, there's a giant wolf howl. It's very close. Somebody's like, oh, is that a dog, man? Because it's all drunk into a high college kids sound like this. <laughs> so I didn't like, go to a lot of uh, parties in college, in case you can't tell. Whoa. Nah, dude, that was totally a wolf. Bruh, that was a wolf, um... bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, Marth, why don't you kick off uh, what's about to happen? Because uh, I think yeah, you're first. definitely going to have the more of the okay. bit. Alright, so... Oh, let's see here. Ah. What am I saying? Right, I'm a wolf. I'm looking to... You look for your girlfriend? Look for my girlfriend, so I'm just like... Definitely just like sniffling around upstairs in the hallway. Alright. Fine. You don't want to be dramatic yet? I'll be dramatic yet. Uh, and one of the doors upstairs me. bursts open. There's a weird pale college kid... Uh, uh, with the, uh, no, they probably don't have guns. Uh, he's got a big, scary-looking knife. There. Uh, uh, he seems yeah, only gonna... slightly bothered that you are a giant wolf. Yeah, I'm just gonna be like, like, pokes my eyes on him. It's like, sorry growling and just start pacing towards his own. And then pounce. If he don't get out of there or quick. <laughs> Alright, um... That sounds like probably a fair level for Lash Out physically. Yes. Okay. <sighs> okay. That is, uh, okay. 
I got a ten tool. Okay. Ten up. Ouch. That's gonna hurt. And okay, I just need to open the that's the wrong one. Uh monster hearts um that other document. Oh. On a 10-up, you deal them harm and choose one. The harm is great. You gain one string on them. They need to hold steady before they can retaliate during the scene. Okay, I'll... So, okay. Uh... Okay, so... I'll... Uh... Yeah. Um... Well, the most dark, uh, darkest self for the I'm werewolf. Trying, I'm getting to it. Um, get to it and get to it. Yeah, so here is... Pick first, find what you're looking for later. Okay, there it is. Okay, so... Okay. I shall ball tile, so I intend on deal them harm, and I'm burned to... <coughs> so I'm going to make them... Well, I think Dark Self, I'm going to make them hold steady, just like, make them really... Okay, that doesn't matter. You're a wolf. Uh, yeah. uh, you're a giant wolf. You take his arm off at the elbow. He goes, ah! Oh, God. Um, screams, ah! Uh, <laughs> drops to the floor. Uh, he's gonna be dead in, like, five minutes unless somebody puts a splint on that, or, uh, uh whatever the word is, or, staunches the bleeding. Oh, yeah, now I... Tourniquet. Now there we go, I that's the word advance. I'm for. Yeah. Alright. Well, you advance I'm immediately. Going, uh, so, so I'm gonna take spirit armor. Joy. Oh, great! Now it's gonna be even harder to take down. So, uh, downstairs team, you just heard a giant wolf howl, and then you heard somebody Wilhelm scream, probably upstairs. Yeah. And now most people are like, "Is there a is there a movie or something on upstairs? What's going on?" Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, is that the... Is the guy knocked down? Uh, yeah. No, he's... Yeah, he... I'm just gonna be, like, copying over and just, like, starting, like, moving. Alright. Where are you moving to? Mm. You're in a hallway. Yeah. Yeah. You haven't well, really answered my question. Where are you going? I'm gonna be heading... Downstairs. Okay. Alright. Yeah, okay, sure. Alright. Hey, uh, has the um has Nadine already been and the other injured been loaded up and taken away already, or are we still wait are we still worried working uh, on that? I'm pretty sure they're already they're already gone. People who were in a bad way went first. Now it's just Okay. okay. You you know, you fractured something or you twisted something, you know. You can't walk home kind of people, right? <clears throat> All right, cool. So, so it's in that moment of you know, turn back, go. What the hell was that? And then people downstairs start screaming. Oh shit! And they flood out of the house. I'm a full blown stampede. I'm a tiny person. I can't win against human stampede. I will try not to get balled over. All right, hold steady. <laughs> Roll cold. Aziz, what about you? Human tide. <laughs> Human tide. Every first. Uh, Aziz, he's just gonna try and get out of the way of the of the uh, ret of the uh, retreating swarm. All right. Does that mean you want to to actually retreat, like in front of them, or are you just like ducking somewhere and not gonna it. run? Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, just yeah. getting out of the way. Someplace they're not uh, uh, going to run. All right, Someplace, like, uh, just off to the side, you know? Yeah, you just like duck behind a tree or a table or something where people aren't, you know, physically going to run through it and just stay low. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, wait, it's cold, right? Yes, yeah, hold steady is cold. Yeah, I have a minus. For you. Uh, okay. So, I got an eight. Okay. Uh, on a seven and nine, you keep your cool, or uh, you choose. Keep your cool, or pick an option from the ten up list, but also gain the cool from terrified. And the oh, ten up list is. become terrified, but. You can ask me a question, remove a condition, or carry one forward during this scene. Um, I will just hold steady. All right, you keep your cool. Spooked. You stay in your round. This is not time for being spooked. <laughs> All right, Wolfzack, you are now downstairs. Uh, the humans flee in terror at the sight of you. Except for some of them, which is very odd. Uh, most of them are older, college age, like the people in the society. Uh, and in fact, uh, one of them is rather nonplussed by the situation and comes at you with a cold iron fire poker. Your rod iron swings it at you like a baseball bat. What do you do? I'm gonna be like, hmm. Ah. Uh, cold iron fire poker. Ah. That's not really gonna affect him. It's not silver. So. I'm going to just like. Like, get low and lunge at the person. Alright. Lash out physically again. This is still the same scene, so you don't run XP again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna solve this problem the only way I know how. With more violence! It's like... Hey, NPCs you know are supposed what, to be disposable, so... You know what this situation? hundred times more violence. We're gonna go full mook horror show on this. We're gonna earn our TVMA rating today. <laughs> That is a nine this time. Oh. All right. So that means you you harm them, but choose one. Yep. <laughs> well, I can't do darkest cell, so that's out of the play. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh well. Uh, hmm. Well, this is a random crowd. Yep. Yeah, I'll allow them to deal one harm on me. Alright. Uh, well, you have armor it. right now, though, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Did you basket in Moonlight? Actually, that's a good armor. question. Is what's, uh, what's the actual wording on spirit armor? For real. Is it is shining into the room, you yeah. mean? Yeah, yeah, it's shining into the room. Yeah, if he's downstairs, I'd say no. But if he got outside, I could but say it's there. But there is some mirror. There's some windows on the front. Uh, yeah, I'm going to actually say uh, no, you are not currently best in yeah. moonlight. Okay. Uh, upstairs, there were some like open windows. You know, you had the great background. Now you're downstairs in the center of the house. Uh, yep. All right, so you you take one as you are bonked on the head with a, you know, it's still a fire poker, it's still heavy. Yeah. Uh, but you and just you just know like take this guy down, out. slam your fangs into his chest. He goes to the ground. <laughs> Blood goes everywhere. Okay. I'm pretty sure, and we can see this now, right? Yeah. Oh, bad. I mean, it's it was dark inside. You know, you guys are outside still. I just like. Uh, you hear a ruckus. That's for sure. Yeah. I was just. Yeah, probably after taking the guy down, probably just walked towards like the moonlight. 
All right. Well, yeah, but, uh, the front door is go. yeah, the front door is closer to you, but it's closed. The back door is open. Yeah. Ah, okay. I know Lucky's going to try something. Yeah, because I'm hearing the ruckus. Uh, yeah, you hear the sounds of a fight and also the snarling of a large animal. So I'm going to make my way, you know, cautiously, cautiously tentatively, back towards into the house. All right. Uh, and is he uh, just uh, mostly out of concern for October, especially here, he, he, having heard the screams inside, uh, it, he's going to follow. Just, yeah, provide her a little backup, you know? All right. But, quick question. Um, where's Rachel? Uh, well, neither of you specifically said anything about Rachel, so I feel like she has been swept up by the the human flood and so uh, she uh, vanished so yeah, somewhere she... with all those people. Oh wait, so that's okay. good. Good, yeah. She might even have, you know, called out you guys' names or something, but you can't hear over the din of all the people be, be like, Oh my god, it's the largest dog I've ever fucking seen! Oh my god! As they <laughs> jump fences. Uh, actually, nah, this 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 party was way over, over fire code. Uh, the, the picket fence in the backyard is like half down as people just slammed to get over it. Oh, yeah. By the way, let me tell you from personal experience, uh, hopping fences like that is not fun. Yeah, I can hop a chain fence like easy enough, but actual full picket fences. No, I've had well, to, wait, I've, no, like, I've done a little nope. uh, clamber in my day to get into places which are locked. So, you know, like when you accidentally lock a door and you forget your keys, uh, it's not great. Wooden fencing isn't as fun as you'd think, but yeah. So, uh, but these people don't care. <laughs> so yes, uh, speaking of which, October Aziz. You see the largest wolf you've ever seen. You're pretty sure that this is the largest wolf that exists in the world for reals. Yeah. <laughs> uh, though yeah. I don't, uh, yeah, Aziz, you're, you're, you're pretty sure that uh, wolves this large haven't existed in the world uh, since long before you existed, which is saying something. Wait. Yeah, considering yeah. that Aziz, uh, uh, he'll tell people otherwise, but he's actually somewhere around 700 years old. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, these guys, uh, this guy's, uh, this kind of wolf size is yeah. ancient. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, primordial. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an Andrusarchus. Yeah. I would, yeah, I'm definitely just like looking around, just like growling, just like uh, well, you have not yet been attacked again, because, well, the last guy who tried to hit you, uh, got destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, they're being a little more cautious. Yeah. Uh, by the way, October, Aziz, you also noticed this, there are quite a few, uh, college-age kids, uh, possibly the residents of the house or members of the Dionysus Club, who seem slightly... Uh, less than concerned about the giant wolf and have armed themselves with, uh, you know, mysterious knives or blunt objects they just happen to have to hand. It's a little weird. <laughs> this way. Yeah. I can probably definitely smell everyone close by. Yep. No, you can smell it. Smell yeah, like people. Like, I'm and just they like, smell like looking around, like people, but better. Like, You're not really sure what that smell is. I'm just like looking around, just like taking notes. It's like, oh, so and start like growling even. we were just like trying to intimidate everyone. Nice. So, wait, I see this is going down. There's a giant. F off wolf, middle of this room. There are bodies in this room, bleeding. There's a whole bunch of college kids armed to fight this wolf for some odd reason, and they have not run away. Now I'm gonna look at myself. I'm pretty bruised. 
I'm like four foot nothing. I don't have a weapon. I have a fire poker next to that guy who's probably dying as his ribs have been crushed. I really, I don't know if I can, I, I don't have heal. Sorry, I kind of had to take a call on the side. Yeah. What ha- what's been happening? Yeah. I'm just going through a rundown of what's going on, what's going on with me. Yeah. And right, I'm definitely just. I'm like honestly like everyone I care I'm, about has been evacuated. I e I'm, Rachel and the Dean. Right. I'm pretty much just brawling as Kennedy, so I can't just try to make. That's no one's really standing in my way right now. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, they're they're kind I'm of big like, surrounding you. I'm just like ground, just like trying to make everyone just like back off. <laughs> that sort uh, of growl. Yeah, they certainly are doing. Hackles that. up, hair is raised. <laughs> Joan <the> teeth. <laughs> All right. Well, All if right. none of you will do anything, uh, good old Chad Chapman. Um, who does supply for the Dionysus Club. He was uh, well, driving his truck around earlier. Right he's going to come around a corner um, with a double-barreled shotgun and level it at you, wolf boy. What oh, do you man, do? What the fuck? I'm going to be like... I'm just going to... I'm going to turn and look towards him and just like... Don't think see. attack. That's, 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 a, that's a shotgun, man. That's what I'm not going to do. I'm just going to be like... Ah... I figure out in what way. Just narrate. You know, what do you well, do? Other than, I'm right now trying to figure that out. Trying to best portray this whole dark cell thing when I'm trying to, when I want to roll gold for like shuts uh, for. Well, you actually uh, this roll is, volatile this to shut people a, down right now. Yeah, Not that matters. So, if you, yeah. Just I'm going to be like to do it, do it. The, so what do you do? I'm well. I guess since well, even though uh, I'm not going to be like take that guy down because even though I'm my like, dark self, some small cells is just like yeah, no, no sh- guns. That would be bad. So I'm just yeah, I'm just going to be turning around and like run straight to uh, turn around, and run straight for the back door. Oh, great! All oh, right, uh, you roll to run away. Uh, hmm. Hey, back door team, roll to hold steady again. <laughs> Holy shit! There's a giant wolf coming right for you. He's coming right for you. Me, oh uh, me, in, uh, in October. Uh, yeah, you guys yeah. were out back, so he bolts for the back door. I got him. That is a. Uh, Ten total. I got, I got a ten. A, I got a okay. four. And Ooh, I'm a oh run away. I get to get away. All right. Uh, all right. So. Uh, all right. Aziz, on a ten up on hold steady. You keep your cool, and you can choose one. You can ask me a question about the situation. You can remove a condition, or you can carry one forward during this scene, so you can get plus one on your next roll. Well, I, I don't have a condition to remove, uh, and carrying it in this scene feels like it's not going to be all that much longer. So carrying one forward doesn't feel like it. Feels like it would just go, go to waste. But I don't know what kind of a question to ask either. I mean, if you don't know, just take the plus one forward and see whether or not you roll it. All right then. I'll go ahead and go with that then. Yeah, carry one forward. Yeah, I guess October's rolling. No, October uh, already rolled. Uh, Got a four. Right. Yep. <laughs> this is just going to be bull over. <laughs> Something else happens. Oh yeah, no, he's picking from the you dumb you dumb messed up list. Oh yeah, no. Uh, uh, it's the fun. Be set for the for the game master uh, storyteller director storyteller uh, the MC MC, MC. that's why I was thinking about <laughs> so yeah I think uh, let's see uh, all right well obviously October 
it's terrifying. There's a huge wolf that's going to bolt right past you. Uh, you just flinch back. You stumble out of the way. Uh, uh, you know, you kind of you press your back up. Uh, and then as the wolf flies past you, clears the pool in a single leap, and just <coughs> bursts through the fence, uh, you take a second, you, uh, you glance over, and you notice... Uh, that standing in the window, looking out at the back. You kind of cut out half, uh, half of that cut out on me. I didn't hear hardly any of that. Get back to that. I don't know. Lucky did I cut out on you? Yeah, you, uh, did. you didn't. Oh, okay. Cut out on me. That's weird. All right. As I was saying, dramatically, as we recorded in the recording, you can listen to later. Um. You know, the the wolf goes flying past you, you kind of stumble back, you press your back up against the window. You glance over at the window, and you see, oh, your old pal Flora there, watching you. Shit. And she now has a string on you. <laughs> a string on you freaking out. Uh, so, uh, Wolf Boy is just gone. Uh, you hear people in the human tide screaming even more. <coughs> okay, so Wolf's gone. Aziz is gonna poke his head into uh, the back door and, and take a look around at the situation. Probably is gonna notice the person who, 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 who tried taking a poker to the, the giant wolf. Yeah. And, uh, uh, he's got a couple yeah. people who are, like, looking him over. Okay, so he's attended to. But there was another scream we heard earlier, wasn't there? Yep, so, upstairs. Yeah. Upstairs. <laughs> Aziz is gonna head, uh, head on up there to investigate that. Well, I'm your good old friend Chad Chapman steps in your way. Shotgun's still in his other hand. Puts a hand on your chest and says, Uh, friend, you should go on home. The club's got this handled. Mm -hmm. he, 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 he is just asking this uh, uh, to verify. He, he, he trusts that. Uh, 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 he trusts that the club probably does. He's just no, verifying no. this with chat. Yeah, he nods. All right then. Now what do you do? All right. Well, I'm gonna go back and try and find um, Rachel. Yeah, I can find her in that hide. Okay. Uh, Aziz, what do you want to do next? <sighs> like, Rachel! Rachel! <laughs> Jumping up and down a bit. <laughs> Waving some flappy well, arms. Yeah. Well, following the, uh, the wave away by Chad, Aziz is going to head on back over to his car and just take a moment to sit down and think things through, okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, uh, in that case, you guys can think about what you're going to do next. I will be right back. Did, Martha will cough some more. Fate. Did Megan not hear me? Yeah, I heard Did you. Did anyone hear me? Yes. I heard. <laughs> I heard you. Uh, I'm you just saying, are, uh, we're good. I'm, you guys can think about those steps and yeah. stuff. Yeah, I. And I will be right back. Gone. Is the more important thing. Okay. okay. Feel free to narrate what you do, but it won't matter because I can't hear you. Right. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> it's like. Yeah. Down there. Nope. I'll be in a different scene. <laughs> As to a safe place. Oh, yeah, safe place. Okay. Uh, yeah, I wonder how long I would... 
I wonder if I'm scared Sylvia and my dark self while there. <sighs> what else is everyone planning to do? <laughs> Well, yeah. Yeah, Aziz, uh, Aziz is just c gathering his thoughts here, collecting his thoughts here. And then uh, once he it, it, once he's done, uh, gotten himself together like that, I think I'm probably going to have him go collect uh, uh, Rachel and provide her escort back home. Okay, so both of you are going for Rachel. Uh, October is just gonna probably yeah. be finding her first. Yeah. Aziz will come along later. <laughs> Alright, those broken crosses. They're both in the same place. Honestly, the <laughs> ten up option right away while the dark self is not the um, it's good, but it's like not the most interesting. All right, hopefully that'll stop me from cutting out for a little bit there. Okay, I don't really yeah. know why. why reds out so much but it does occasionally okay I was just inside. like saying in some parts just like a 10 up while being your dark self while running away is not the like most interesting option yeah well you're in a safe place but you're still your darkest self so we'll solve yeah. that in a second first I think October because they've gotten I think the least amount of interesting things going on here so far uh, you're looking for Rachel it's not hard uh, well, it's a little hard, because you're short and there's a lot of people, but... Uh, <coughs> she kind of got swept around to the to the side and out to the... Out to the street a little bit. She's trying to, like, push her way through some people as they run away. You see her. Or probably you hear her first as you call her name. She's like, October? And you're like, Rachel, October, blah, blah, blah. Tetsuo! No, about, not quite there yet. About, <laughs> so, about how long does it take the two to find each other? Mm, within five minutes, probably. Okay. Aziz is going to be collecting his thoughts for te about ten, give or take, and then he's going to come uh, looking for Rachel himself to provide her, escort, or provide her a ride back home. All right. Well, we'll see if that matters. All right, October. You have acquired X1 Rachel. Yes. Da -da -da. I put her in my I put her in my inventory where she will be safe. October, I don't uh, think now is the no, time for a piggyback like, ride. Like... Party in your pocket. Uh, I need multiple people in my inventory for that. Da -da -da. Now you're just you building mecha <laughs> <laughs> But um I'm going to um I'm gonna say we gotta get you home. Like now. And I'm like Damn. I'm going, so yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna have to get us to get the hell out of here. Okay, but wait, what about Aziz? Was he with you? I didn't see him. <laughs> yeah. I prompted oh, to you. Sorry, uh, sorry uh, someone just knocked over. But, um. It's like, uh. Like I think he's still back there. It's like he'll be fine. Uh, the wolf is gone. I think the wolf what? ran off. What? With the what? <laughs> it... It's like I'll tell you about it later. But I definitely need to get out of here. Um. Actually, let's see. 
Okay, but wait, Actually, first, hold yeah. on. Let me just... She fishes her phone out. I keep a watch of my surroundings. Alright. Uh, you... You probably feel slightly paranoid at this point. You feel almost like all the shadows are kind of jumping out at you. People still stream past you. You hear police yeah, sirens in the distance. Uh, Rachel bangs out a quick text to Aziz. Uh, yeah, and then... then what, uh, yeah, since Aziz is thinking, uh, he, he does immediately uh, take a look at his phone when, and the message shows up. Uh, it's, it's basically like, uh, with October, leaving now, are you okay? Uh, I'll, he'll go ahead and, uh, and quickly text back, I was gonna take you home, you go uh, on with someone else then? Alright, down the street, Rachel kind of raises an eyebrow at her phone, she's, you know, uh, because you're, you're, you know, obviously, you know, 700 years of experience, ah, whatever, giant wolf. Uh, so she's, she's a little confused, but she's like, um, then she kind of, she kind of turns to October, and she's like, uh, hey, is he just saying you can take, take me home? Uh, that'd be quicker than walking, wouldn't it? Yes. Okay, much I'll just tell him yes, to come get us. That. Yes, uh, take you home. Okay. Yeah, so she shoots back. So, you know. so and she gives her, her, her where she is exactly around yeah. the house. Yeah. So basically, on the yeah. At this point, probably oh, yeah. drifted down the street a little to the corner or something. Yeah, as he starts up the car and pulls up uh, up on the dri uh, or pulls up near the drive uh, uh, the uh, sidewalk nearest where they are. So yeah, he's just. He, he, I will admit, he probably looks ra rather calm, dissonantly, so uh, uh, given the situation. But, yeah. Alright, Rachel gets in. October, I assume you also get in? No. Oh, no. no. I close the, <laughs> the door, and I give Aziz a meaningful look. Hey, just... Uh, he just, uh, all he does is really exchange his glances with you, with October and nothing more than that. At, after that one little look at her, he then just turns his eyes to the road ahead and pulls away to take Rachel back home. Rachel probably, like, sticks her head out for, like, half a second and is like, wait, October, you are co Whoa! <laughs> Right. Okay, that's a thing here. Yep. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Still, those broken promises. Uh, I can act on those whenever I feel. But... So it's just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what are you doing? I gotta go find me a wolf. Okay. That sounds like a dumb idea. <laughs> Speaking of which, Wolf, Wolfie Wolferton, uh, you are in a quote-unquote yes. safe place, by which I mean the woods. Yes. Which is debatably safe, but, you know, yeah. you're the biggest thing in the woods right now, so I'm sure it's fine. Yes. You're still your darkest I... self. What do you do? Yeah. I'm just like, hmm, what am I doing? Uh, Didn't you say uh, at the beginning of all this you were looking for your girlfriend? Well, I'm like, <laughs> huh, well, there was, well, I mean, that was what was happening before the little dark cell. Yeah. And right now, I'm my thoughts are elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, where are your thoughts? Fair I would is. say I'm still looking to like attack stuff and just be like prowling along looking for stuff to attack. Alright. Or fine. Uh, you. 
basically go, just basically uh, asserting your dominance over your territory at this point. Yeah. All right. Uh, then, you shoulder like, check a couple trees uh, that annoy you. Uh, you start hunting deer in the woods uh, midnight. Yeah. Uh, well, I would say probably lingering in the very back of my mind is about one of you, but it's like not really like, prominent. <laughs> So, October, you are following the trail of devastation made by a giant wolf running the fuck away. Uh, it leads you to the edge of the woods. What do you do? Nope, 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 not the wood. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> you think in the distance over the foggy night, because naturally the woods are filled with fog, uh, you hear howling and scratching and other noises. <laughs> yeah, this is how you do this. Right. Right. Uh, yeah. Just one more thing. Little teen thing. Just another <laughs> thing. Another question. Rumble in the force just doesn't have quite the same ring to it, does it? No, it doesn't. Conflict in the conifers? It's better, but it's a little verbose. <laughs> um, so I will be not going into the woods because Jesus Christ that's asking for the it's a really yeah, dumb yeah. idea yes you're, uh, you're already doing something st stupid by chasing it down a wolf and besides being on the edge of the woods <laughs> also you know somebody did get murdered by a vicious animal yeah. maybe in these woods possibly yes. yeah yeah that's why I'm saying I'm stopping at the woods <laughs> All right, you stop yep. at the woods. I'll be like, nope. This is that's how that's how I end up dead, and I will escape and make my way home. Hey, Zach. Yes. You smell pumpkin spice. Huh? It's like kind of like sandwich. <laughs> it's like it's like oh, that's something. And maybe something but... more like fallen leaves. Ah. Huh. I'm just like, I'll stop from what I'm doing, turn around and start heading that way. <laughs> yeah, boy. Okie dokie. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's always a pumpkin size. Mm -hmm. It's addictive. You... That stuff is addictive. It can It'll be. get you to trouble. It will. Alright, uh, so Aziz, yeah, you get Rachel home. <laughs> Uh, any qu uh, uh, as I recall, she, uh, uh, Aziz does have an injury or two, and uh, 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 just, uh, I just uh, I think it was just a uh, maybe a busted lip or something from uh, um, Juanita punching him in the face or something. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, if she asks about that, he's pretty he's pretty much uh, uh, going to lie about it, about it, and just say. Uh, Got uh, got hit by uh, uh, something on, on that wolf's way out. Yeah, she's asking you. She just she's not. I mean, she's a little concerned. She could worry about you. She, you know, like probably wipe some blood out of the corner of your mouth or something. Right. But, but more importantly, she's about what is the story with the wolf? October wouldn't tell her anything about it. <laughs> uh, honestly, I don't have much to tell because I don't know much about it except uh, that I'm. That I'm willing to divulge, uh, old, uh, old that uh, apart from, and as he says, it's about to say that it's older than he is, <laughs> because yeah, <laughs> just you know. Uh, outside of that, he he doesn't really know much of anything except that it kind of came out uh, came out of nowhere. It seems like, although. Best I, I can guess, it came from upstairs somehow, because that's where we all heard the howl come from. 
Yeah. No, there's no point denying that much because I think even Rachel could have told, could, uh, would have been able to tell that. Yeah, she figured that. Uh, yeah. Anyways, don't know anything about it. But it, if I did, it, I'd probably. I'm pretty sure I'd tell you. Alright, so, yeah, you got her home. Uh, you know. <laughs> now, usually Aziz doesn't actually have a proper <laughs> home. Uh, in this case, though, oh, he best stay, uh, he feels it's best to stay indoors, so. Um. Thinking either uh, either requ- uh, gonna see about uh, staying with Brian or with with Rachel we'll, we'll for a bit one of their houses because yeah stay uh, because yeah uh, being out about alone at this uh, at this time is pretty stu- uh, is just as stupid as chasing down a wolf. <laughs> yeah, well, I would that's tell you. Um, freaking teenagers. <laughs> Yeah, uh, staying at Rachel's probably not gonna work. Uh, you could ask, obviously, I don't want to necessarily stop you, but you get the feeling, um, as nice as she is and as nice as, uh, her mother was, because you talked to her when you came to get her, uh, that, you know, you're, you're still at least pretending to be a teenage boy, she's a teenage girl. Even if you just like sleep on the couch downstairs, that'd probably raise some eyebrows. You probably have better luck just popping my Brian and be like, "Hey, hey, can I crash with you for a bit?" <laughs> right. And after all, uh, Brian did ask you to to pop on over and uh, you know see about the Dionysus Club. You could tell him a few things, probably. Okay, so yeah, he'll go ahead and head over there, and yeah. He'll, uh, he'll knock at the door initially, they give a wave, wave to whoever answers, and just uh, 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 and ask, Hey, don't mind if I crash with Brian for her, her tonight. It's been kind of an, it's been kind of an eventful <coughs> night. It, it, yeah. Let's see, what is Brian's family life like? Let's see. We know he's middle class. We know he broke a promise to October. Uh, so let's see. It's uh, it's probably late. Uh, his parents are asleep. Long day. He comes down, lets you in. You're like, hey, can I crash here? He's like, sure. Only sure in a twitchy way that I don't feel like emoting right now. Right, as he as he does give him a little smile. He can't. It, 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 it's friendly, but it's also a bit knowing. Cause yeah, well, as he is kind of responsible for his uh, mental. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so October, are you just going home? Yeah. I'll text uh, Rachel, make sure she got home. She got home today. Yeah. Uh, she did. Uh, she asked the same view. That's all I got to get. I'm just be like, I'll be home soon enough. See you tomorrow. Take well. So. And I'll be like, You're home. Where do you, where do you go when you go home? Wait, no, I, I said, um... What was it? Can I have a small park? i stay in a park. Not a hand. Mm-hmm. By the way, Lucky, you're a little quiet. You might want to check your mic levels a little there. Oh, sorry, what? There we go, okay, you're better. So, small apartment. Oh yeah, and I have, like, super busy parents. 
so never seen it. Mysteriously busy. I see. <laughs> uh, your apartment building, does it happen to have some trees and stuff? Yeah. Buy it? Yeah. Maybe a lovely little park thing? Yeah. Alright, so you're, you're meandering your way. Uh, Wolf Boy, you have identified the pumpkin spice. <laughs> it's like. It's just like. Stuff like. Step on, it's just like. Snap for It's like. Ah. Uh. It appears to be October, walking home. Just like uh, looking at it off. Yeah. So she hasn't gone yet? Nope. Uh, I'll just see. Uh, what what style of apartment building is this? Is this like a like a walk up? Uh, I assume there's not like a doorman or anything. Is there? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I said it's a college town, so it's probably um, just walk up. You know, probably is like probably not even fenced. Okay, I'm just gonna be like sitting <laughs> down, watching her pass away. Mm-hmm. October, you get up to your door, pull out your key. You get a weird tingling sensation on the back of your neck. I'll turn around, look back. Okay, well, this is a question for Zach. How, how hidden are you? I'm like right behind a tree, just looking from there. Okay. Uh, October, you see giant, glowing, reflective eyes in the darkness, staring at you from behind a tree. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm just like, all I'm doing is just staring, because you're not doing anything. This is a very weird impasse. Deer meet headlights. And it's just like after a bit more, just like bark twice and go back to the woods. <laughs> All right, the giant wolf, quote unquote, barks, which is weird, and then it goes into the woods. October, what do you do now? I go inside and lock the door. Okay, and the chain. I guess? I'm not gonna go chasing after a wolf that just actually barked at me. I was hoping to find out, like, get a drop on it, and then it got a drop on me. Yeah. What were you expecting? It's a giant wolf. <laughs> it, knows. It, knows that, it knows where you live. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> and you don't know where it lives. Yeah, I know, because... <laughs> Anyway, all right. You going to bed? I assume then. Nah. Just... <clears throat> okay. You pull a blanket around you and stare at the wall. Uh, if I remember rightly, I think the party was on a Friday night, so there's no school. Yeah. Okay. Zach, are you going to do anything besides rampage around in the woods until sunrise? Hmm. Oh, uh, actually, let's see here. Now that I've got a thought story sitting in October, it's like, hey, it's like that lingering thought of Juanita comes back to my head. It's like, wait, where's Juanita? All right, where do you go? I'm going to head back into the, uh, well, because of my dark self, I'm not really thinking straight, so I'm heading back into the town to uh, try to locate her. Alright. Are you being sensible about sensible about this? Like, going where you last saw her? Or are you just patrolling up and down the streets? I'm going to go to where uh, I'll be trying to be sensible, but I'm also just, like, moving in ways that are just, like, I guess, not entirely being 
and like not going to the most open routes, trying to go into like groups that won't allow me to be seen as easily. Sure. Ugh. Excuse me. All right. Um, In other words, he's basically trying to be discreet. Yeah, I'm just being sneaky. Discreet, sneaky, just like. I all right. know all about the guns, and there's people with guns in the city, town, place. All right. Uh, so you go back to the house, uh, or you can see it somewhere stealthily. Uh, there's a single police cruiser parked out front. Uh, city police, and there's an animal control vehicle there. And, uh, <laughs> not much else. <clears throat> okay. Huh. There's no crime scene tape or anything. Ah. <sighs> oh, do I? I already know uh, about there's that. Still some, there's some lights on inside. And probably some people moving around. You can hear and or smell. Yeah. Yeah. Smell here. <laughs> I'm just scaring me like hmm why am I trying to do well I'm not going to go directly towards the house because they don't control the team plus the police do you? Uh, I'll probably just like hmm <sighs> what? I'm blanking on this <laughs> um Suggestions. Well, as I said, like, your dark itself is literally, it's like, it's, you crave power and dominance of those are yes. things and you are able to be brought down to bleed. You have a goal. You should probably take the most direct approach to that goal. And if anyone tries to get in, get in your way, well, you know, screw them. They're gonna go, they're gonna meet the, they're gonna meet the nail. Right. Let's see here. Yeah. And I said, yeah. you're a wolf. Well, Nita probably and a... So, like, every time I'm you can be like... I'm going to go and try to find one Nita's set. You know, if at least any danger. Alright. Okay. Uh, you have to get closer to the house to do that. <coughs> so you do so. You start sniffing around the backyard. Uh... <laughs> Unless you think that there's some kind of werewolf move that should be triggering here, uh, uh, I think you just kind of ammo instincts, which is heightened. Well, this is not a charge situation. Wait, there's police mm, here? Yeah, no, there's there's police and animal control around, and you were scared out of this. Uh, house by weapon wielding college kids. This could be yes. a tense situation. I would say it's a tense situation. There's police, there's animal control team. It's like, I'm yeah, very aware yeah. about everything here. Go ahead and uh, roll it then. Roll dark. And that's, uh, oh, right, and that's kind of dark. Also, me. there's a giant werewolf in this scene. I think that automatically makes it charged. Eight minus one is a seven, so I get to mm -hmm. ask one. Mm -hmm. <sighs> ah, okay. Okay, so I'm just going to have to think about what my best question to ask is. Mm -hmm. Because I know these are the ones I'm supposed to, that I can choose from. I know that the police are here. They're the ones who are trolling it, or so. Are they? Yeah. Right. Where, what's my best way in? I mean, it's been a yeah, I'm going to say my best way in, I guess. Uh, you're a giant freaking wolf, and this is a two-story house. Uh, <laughs> you should just hop up on one of the lower sections and, like, hop into an open window. Yeah, I'll do that. Alright. Clamber on in. 
You're not super quiet, but you're not as loud as you could be. So you go on in, jump on right in. Uh, scramble in a window that, ironically, uh, Juanita pushed somebody out of recently. <laughs> okay. In your that not e- not even drunk drunken frat stunts. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just no, so you're upstairs. upstairs. Uh, so I'm just, just upstairs getting. smells like bleach. Oh, uh, yuck! <laughs> yeah, this it, it quite literally smells of a cover up. Plus, this is bleach, which would be much more powerful than an owl's nose. Yeah, no, it it sucks up here. It stings your eyes and nose, but it's like, yeah, it smells like bleach. It's like. I can't even smell if I need it anymore. Uh, not in this hallway, anyway. Yeah, so I'll go into the hallway. Yeah, uh, you're in the hallway. Uh, some of the rooms are closed, some of the rooms are open. You notice there's a room that mysteriously does not close, only to you it's not mysterious because we'll need to break the door handle. Right. Uh, even though it's dark up here for the most part, it looks like most people are downstairs. Uh, you can see perfectly fine, uh, where there should be a dead guy and a huge blood stain, and possibly an arm, right. since I don't think you held on to it. Uh, right. there's none of that. Uh, instead there's some uh, very awkward bleach stains on the carpet up here. Huh. Okay, some more bleach water being annoyed by the scent. <laughs> No, I mean, yeah, if if you guys will recall from the, the previous sessions, uh, you yeah. jumped into the hallway window. It's a straight line, and there's a window at the end. Right. That's what yeah. Juanita pushed Nadine out of. So basically, you jump in that window, you're at one end of the hallway, you walk up the hallway a little, yeah. where okay. there should be, like I said, a dead guy and some stuff. There's just a huge bleach stain and nothing else. Okay. Uh, I'm not really interested in what's on here, so I'm going to just continue to look around, try to refine what you sent. Alright. Uh, you search some rooms uh, that are unoccupied. Uh, and you, you go into one. You remember this door was closed earlier, but now it's open. Um, it's a little hard with all the bleach and stuff, but you smell several people who were in here. Uh, you think you even smell the guy whose arm you knocked off. Uh, but you also smell Winnie ah. It's like I sniff somewhere. And I'm going to start going back up and try to break down the door. Oh, no, no, the door's open now. That's oh, what I'm saying. the door's you, open. You can go into the room and you smell several people, yeah. including Winnie Okay, Okay, so they all go in this sniff around. There's nobody here currently. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that smells like Juanita. A little bit of yes. a little bit of blood from other people. Several peoples. Smell yeah. smell some iron. Yeah, and is there any sort of I guess trail from here or is it just like No, it seems kinda there. like the smell goes back out into the hall where you lose in the bleach, and then you turn around and in the hall uh and there's uh, a couple of uh, animal control guys in the doorway. Uh, only they look slightly suspicious, like their uniforms uh, seem a little uh, a little clean for animal control guys, and uh, they don't they don't quite fit right. And uh, these guys look a little young and skinny for animal control people. Uh, and you don't think animal control is usually carrying air-powered uh, dart rifles and levels them at giant wolves without saying anything and look like they're about to shoot you full of tranquilizers. What do you do? Yeah. Is there a day? Well, well, There's a small a window. No-go. There's a small window. <laughs> it's good. I'm going through a small window. All right. Run away again. Snake eyes, snake eyes, snake 
And that's uh, 13. Okay. So the wind is too small. Obviously. <laughs> You're a giant wolf. Uh, Crash. You, yeah, you smash through <laughs> the window, the window frame, the exterior wall that's in your way, uh, and you basically go <laughs> barreling out uh, onto... Uh, so, it, you know, it was a two-story house, but it was one of those kinds where there's, like, there's more ground floor than there is top floor, you know what I mean? So there's, there's like, a lower level of roof, <laughs> like over the kitchen right. or something. Uh, so you just go sliding down that lower roof, shingles flying everywhere, wood bits... You know, it's really boss in, like, uh, you know, high animation frames or whatever. Uh, and so uh, you hear the faint of uh, air guns going as darts go sailing by you. Uh, those two guys rush up to the hole and look like they're gonna... Uh, no, screw it. Uh, they, they're they like friggin' commandos, even though they're wearing animal control uniforms. They start sliding down the roof after you. Uh, shoot darts all the while. What do you, um... You actually, no, that's right. You already rolled uh, to run away, so... Uh, you yeah, split. that's a 13. <laughs> yeah, you just leap off, uh, cr- you know, clear a fence again in a single bound, and, and scoot off into the woods. Go every which way to just, like, lose them. Mm-hmm. And there's no way a couple of humans are gonna keep up with a wolf running at full pit. With a dire wolf. <laughs> yeah, no, he's got a uh, he's got some um, you know leg length. He's got some stride on them. Uh, so you quickly lose them and return to your favorite woods. Uh, you are now armed with the knowledge that Juanita was upstairs, presumably recovering from the incident where she got beat up some and arm locked and stuff. Yeah, uh, but current. she, along with at least one dead guy, have been extracted. Yes, I'm like, I'm very perplexed by that. Uh, also, the friggin' Navy SEALs of animal control were trying to come after you. What's that? It's almost like there's weird things right. going on in this town, besides you guys and your friggin' dating lives. This, which you have consistently ignored until now. This is not my day. No. No, it is not. Uh, Alright, I think we're gonna... Unless you're gonna keep assaulting the house over and over again until sunrise, I think we're probably gonna cut to the next morning. Ow, yeah. that was my knee. Yeah, uh, yeah okay. we've only been going about an hour. Uh, <laughs> so I will leave you guys to think about what you want to do next for a bit, and I will be right back next again. morning. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm very okay. going to be still in the frickin' woods. <laughs> Barry with <laughs> blood around the abandoned cabin as I'm by. <laughs> Just blood, dried blood around on the ground. So the next day? Yeah. I'm back to my self. <laughs> I did not sleep well. Did I even sleep? I don't even I think no. Psych. You probably had like a nightmare with glowing eyes. I or mean a just... giant effing wolf did like run past me, could have like, you know, given you <laughs> a firm head pat as you went past. You're that yes. fucking close. Yeah, that close. And you got a lot of teeth, bro. Lots of yes. Teeth. But and there's blood on those teeth. So, yeah, spooky. spooky. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> As I've already said, what I'm thinking about. Oh, well, at least some part of that. Find out with blood on my stuff. <laughs> blood everywhere around my bed. can just like, wait, what happened? <laughs> Well, is it one of those things where you forget after the morning? Or do you, like, well, I'm trying to figure out, like, do I remember, or do I... It's like, oh no, I've been killing again. Well, the cliche thing is... to forget what happened. I mean, it's not to forget, you just can't... Yeah. It's hazy, it's like... 
You like you remember running through the wood. You remember the taste of blood. I would say you remember you would remember the smell of pumpkin spice. <laughs> I would just like I would just go with remembering what my animal senses remember. So like taste of blood, smell of pumpkin spice. Taste yeah. of blood, seeing October. <laughs> That'd be interesting. It's like it's like wait, when was I outside? When was wait? Why was I outside the by October's place? Or wait, why was October opening a building? That's the better question. But then the pumpkin slice is there, so it's like, wait, it's her place, his place. Their place. Placing the Placerton. Yeah. In any yeah. case, yeah. Next <laughs> morning, yeah. Uh, I think Aziz is gonna check the news, see what they, uh, see if there's any, if the club allowed any word out. Perfectly. Anybody else checking the news in the morning? Nope. <laughs> really? Okay, man. Uh. Yeah. So, uh, oddly enough, Aziz, uh, crammed into the, the human interest portion of the morning news, uh, they talk about how there were a lot of sightings of a giant dog, or perhaps a wolf, uh, and wolves haven't been seen around uh, Arborea in decades, a century. Uh, you know, pe uh, people are advising to, what you call it, um... Be cautious but respectful, I guess is the best way to put it. You know, the wolves were here before us. It's The town is named Arborea, after all. Uh, so, yeah, uh, there's no mention of the party in particular, the injuries, any of that. Just, you know. Alrighty. Um, it's been my day by not looking at my Not name. particularly su uh, surprising. Right. Um, hmm. Let's see here. Right, this one. So, yeah. So I'm going to start my day by loading up on energy drinks. Oh, and I'm right. I don't really sleep at all because the sun rises. Yeah, you de wolf when sun breaks. Yeah. But do I go to sleep as my dirt still? So. And nah, I'm probably like just back to home, just like to sleep when the sun rises. You run out of entry energy eventually. Yeah, yeah. And there's blood around my cabin. Yep. Bandicam. And you taste blood. Yes. And you smell like blood. Like, oh God, I'm. <laughs> I know Zach is just hurt go and get the blood washed off the like, mm -hmm. uh. uh Also, I, if I'm remembering correctly, I believe we established that there is no magic pants rule. Yeah. Yeah, so... He just yeah. has to get new pants. Yes. A new and shirt. What happened to your old pants, huh? It's like... <laughs> Dun dun! Like looking at it, it's like, huh. Okay then. Questions for later. Uh, anyways, uh, uh, yeah. Um. I am curious how Brian takes uh, takes all uh, uh, takes what news he hears, or what questions he might have. Well, let's see. Where to start? I, I really, especially after so many weeks, I really don't want you to reverse exposit all the stuff that I know you asked to tell the Brian later that Brian asks about that you tell him. So we can probably shorthand that. Could just be like, um, I yeah. self exposit. Yeah, he asks for all the details you got on Dionysus. 
Uh, shockingly enough, this wolf situation seems not to worry him at all. Interesting. He's not worried, much uh, much like uh, like uh, Aziz himself, who is dissonantly calm. So yeah, wolves are small fry. There's bigger uh, things going on here. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting, and, and uh, assuming this is all in the privacy of of. Uh, uh, Brian's uh, room and everything. Mm-hmm. Aziz is gonna uh, uh, kind of ask uh, ask in return. Huh? I wonder just how much. In, uh, or he's just gonna voice this aloud. I wonder how much uh, uh, just that wish uh, uh, is actually put into your head. <laughs> oh you no! Know, well, I don't know. Maybe you have an idea. I didn't wish about you. I don't. He kind of rubs his temples. Whatever. No, I know. I know everything. I could write <laughs> volumes. I have written volumes. He gestures and knocks over a stack of notebooks which are all handwritten yeah, you have certainly been a bit uh, you certainly have been a busy bee not as busy as they have <laughs> yeah that's, uh, he's getting in uh, he's getting in pretty deep isn't he Oh, but they're deeper. It runs deeper than you know. So. Hmm. Well, while I'm here, anything else I could do? Whether it's a wish or a request? Well, he asked, uh, did you relate? Do you relate everything? Because you asked a whole bunch of questions of Dionysus people about the club and stuff. Do you relate that to him? Yeah. Uh, 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 well, uh, yeah. Anything that uh, seems pretty uh, relevant. All right. So he kind of ponders all that. Okay. I think I see it. It's hard to see. How it's you can't believe how frustrating it is to have perfect detail on one aspect of something, but that something is so large. You know, it's crazy. Okay. Let's see. He ponders. Give me a minute to think. Okay. He, like, sticks a pen in his mouth and he looks at some notepads and stuff. He thinks, okay. Let's see. So. Nadine's a part of it, but is she a big part? Can I ask her? No, that won't do. You know, he's muttering to himself. Zeus, meanwhile, is just gonna <coughs> lounge back. He's he's not in a hurry to leave yet. So yeah, he's he's just gonna be patient while while, while uh, Brian brainstorms. Hmm. After all, he's the master here. He gets uh, yeah, even he's if, gonna uh, he's gonna go over to his conspiracy wall, which he totally has now. Uh, he has the covered with board, paper. Yeah, uh, yeah, covered with paper and string. Mm-hmm. Uh. And he adds, uh, you notice Juanita's picture up there, with some, and he doodles some question marks. From what you said about it, I think Juanita is involved in whatever this is. It's too bad you couldn't stay uh, later. I haven't been able to confirm so many people. Uh, Aziz, uh, Aziz is also got, uh, seeing that Juanita's actually pinned up there, I think I'll... I'll go... Uh, uh, if Brian didn't wasn't so involved in this world already, he wouldn't mention this. But he is going to mention uh, mention what he what that he noticed while tussling with uh, uh, with Juanita, the fact that she lifted him while she was down, and the fact that she was pretty darn hot, <laughs> not uh, and not in the uh, sexual way. Yes, that's consistent. Maybe, maybe it's not. Uh, you notice uh, as you're uh, as you're looking at his conspiracy board, he's got like an index card in the corner, uh, and it has the words. Well, yeah, the words I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, scribbled on it in marker. X X twelve. Uh, Thyrsus, or 
there was three. And it's kind of like circled. He kind of, you know, taps his chin with his pen. It's like, okay. Uh, he puts some str string with pins from the, the index card to uh, Nadine, and then uh, a different colored string to Juanita. So, all right. Oh. I'd love to just be yeah. able to wave my magic ring and make all this. He kind of, you know, gestures with his hand that's got the ring on it, and just clear all this up. But this seems so large. I can't think what's the best way to go about this. Oh, well, be careful! I can't uh, move uh, too uh, openly. Uh, They'll be after it. Uh, Come uh, Clutches his ring hand a little closer. Well, still. Well, as he said, it does smile at the mention of large. Which, I mean, a, lar a large urge conspiracy or what a mystery or whatnot. Large wish, maybe. Maybe something that actually wor worth this genie's time. Yeah, and he kind of... Pitch the bridge of his nose. He think he ponders on it some more. Uh, wish I could. Uh, I'm not really sure what I could do to help uh, help uh, help Brian along with this. Honestly. <laughs> uh, yeah, he comes to the conclusion. If you don't say anything for a little bit, he's like, I think I need more information. Another wish for more information. No, no, not much. a wish yet. Hmm. He kind of, you know, chews on the end of his pen. No, there's something here. He kind of chuckles to himself. Maybe I can help you. Would you like to know more? How about what I've pieced together here? Uh, well, I may have given you that information, but it doesn't mean I ever had it myself. And I am a little curious. Very well, then. He kind of steeples his fingers. I'm sure, given our relationship, you probably don't find this hard to believe, though I would say most people would. But as far as I can tell, there appears to be some kind of insidious supernatural conspiracy at the Darkwood Valley Institute. They just call themselves the Institute. I know that, in a sense, uh, Nadine is a member, and she is connected to them through well. this Dionysus Club, though how the Dionysus Club is connected to the Institute, obviously, I can't know. That's where it stops for Nadine. What I do know is that they're involved in some weird goings-on, especially from what you described to me. Uh, I think they have some kind of initiation, or maybe it's a gift, a, a little reward for joining. I don't know for sure, but it's something to do with this. He taps the index card that says XX12. I don't know right. what it is, but I know that it does things to people. It changes them, makes them better, but it's addictive, it's, and it uh, also has consequences. You know what I'm so... saying? Side effects. So it's an, it's kind of a super soldier serum of sorts or something like that. It's, something like that. I think you've been watching too much modern TV. But yes, uh, for Nadine, it makes her uh, 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 calmer, more focused. Does sh but yeah, Aziz does shrug when he, he says, "I've been watch He's been watching too much modern TV." He, Gotta catch up on with the times. Uh, Nadine takes it to be uh, calmer, more focused, more astute, observant, I guess. Uh, it does and... lots of things for her, actually. I don't think she even realizes how much, but obviously I do. Tamps his head. Uh, but uh... it gives her pain and stuff, like chronic pains. That's why she drinks so much alcohol. And She's keeping the pain down. 
And, it, uh, and evidently, if it helps keep her calm, then she was running rather low on it tonight, because she got pretty worked up, to say the least. Hmm, maybe, maybe. More doses at the party? Damn. He kind of, you know, clutches his fist, smacks the wall a little. It's too bad this stupid wolf got in your way. He would have been able to stay later, find out more. Anyway, I think, I'm just guessing... But basically, the effects seem to differ from person to person. One, um, Nadine's effects are her own, and so if Juanita is on it, Juanita's effects are her own. But I think it makes her stronger and faster, more so than a person should be, but it also probably makes her temperamental. That's why she's so all over the place, you know? Uh, I kept cutting out, sorry. That's fine. And... Uh, Basically, he just, he kind of summarized how the effects are different for people, and he, uh, talk, he made some guesses about Juanita, which I assume you guys can interpolate. Right. In any case, yeah. <sighs> There's nothing really for Aziz to do except hang around, because, yeah, it's... There's no, it's it's the weekend, and going back there would probably it's the house is probably closed off after the whole incident. Mm-hmm. And yeah. All right. He kind of thinks to himself. He taps his taps his finger against his lips and says, "All right, I don't have a wish yet because I need to know the right time to employ it. But Aziz, I think it would be good if you could do me another favor." He pulls the index card with the name on it and kind of hands it to you. As X-X-L. easy it would be, I'm sure, for uh, me to just wish up some. That doesn't necessarily help me if I want to find out what they're doing with it and why. So, uh, you know some people, right? You've, you've talked to some, and you're in with the club. If you could try and figure out where maybe they're keeping it, don't you know, ask him outright. That'd probably be weird, and we should be careful. Uh, Nadine didn't know much about it, but I get the impression that the Institute knows about supernatural things, maybe not specifically, but generally, and they try and study them for their own ends, whatever those ends are. Damn, this is so confusing. But anyway, yeah, he hands you the index card and says, if you can figure out where they're keeping this stuff, then, then I think I can use our arrangement to figure some things out. Maybe somebody stumbles onto it. Maybe we stumble onto it. So many things. And then he kind of smacks his forehead. He's like, oh, I've just remembered something. I don't need to text Uh somebody. And he pulls out his phone. Oh, it's nothing. With you, uh, nowadays with you, hardly anything seems like nothing. Uh, just remembering something I said I'd do for somebody else. Obviously, you know, he, again, gestures vaguely in his head. Other things to think about. Hmm. Well, Aziz will take another look at the card. Nerd. Not sure, uh, where to... uh, to be honest, even I'm not sure where to start with this. Going back to the house probably wouldn't, uh, uh, wouldn't work. Or, or, or when it, if I'm looking for or this stuff. Uh, you know, as he's, he's about to start typing on his phone, he kind of snaps his fingers. He's like, oh, hey, didn't you say there was a guy who was bringing stuff for them? Uh, what's his face? Chad, I think he oh, said his yes. name was. Oh, yes. Chad, Yes. If he moves, you know, booze and stuff for them, maybe he moves other stuff. You can track that guy down. I'm not foolish enough to just wish for all the information about him. It took me days to get this stuff about these people. You know, he gestures at piles of notebooks. No, I need to think of something better. But, you right. know... As he, as he said, Lee East is thinking in his own head. Well, he's learning. <laughs> Anyways, but, yeah... 
Well, good luck with that. And and if uh, and if you do f- uh, uh, think up a wish that can't be uh, granted by mundane means, uh, you know I'm always here. Technically, mm-hmm. he, he's giving a, a, a glance at the ring. Anyways, Zeus is gonna head out and he's gonna go track down Chad. All right. Uh, so let's snap over to October. You raid your mini fridge for Monster Energy drinks. Because, duh, yep. it's Monster Hearts. <laughs> and I'm going to text Rachel, and I'm going to ask okay. if she wants to come, and make sure, like, you know, everything's okay. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to start calling uh, hospitals, looking for which one Nadine got, got taken to. Alright, you're about to start uh, calling hospitals, and you get a text. Okay. From Bragan. Uh, Megan? Uh, Brian Nash, and he says, Hey, uh, it's kind of like strung together, it's kind of spastic text. Uh, but he's like, Remember how you said to talk to you when I need to know more about stuff? Uh, I've got some stuff I need to know things about that I think is weird. Now, you do know that Brian has broken his promise to you. He did not come to you first. So clearly he's asked somebody else. All right, well, I'll take the back. He's like, all right, I'm down to meet. When? Uh, as soon as possible. And then he immediately, like, shoots the next one. Clock's ticking. <laughs> so get over there post haste, he's saying, basically. Mm. Eh, it probably won't take long. Uh, that's right, so I'll, um, alright, say, so, alright, where to meet? Uh, uh, yeah, no, he'll be, he'll be weird and slightly paranoid. I can't go out right now. Can you come by my house? Oh, by the way, by the way, by granting that, uh, uh, doing that little request for Brian, don't I get it to mark XP and all that take the string on him? Yes, I believe so, because you have that move. It's the wrong folder. I I just wanted to check on that. Download my own stuff, but yes, I believe so. Just... Yes, they may offer you XP to do what they ask without spending a string. Uh, when you accept, you also take one string on them. Don't count on using wish. So yes, uh, he would offer XP to do that. Because he's asking you a favor. Okay, I'll go ahead and mark, mark XP then, and yep. get another string on him. Yep. Poor old Brian, just digging himself deeper. He's also trying to think really hard about a wish, like, you know, be invisible, you know, be able to enter a building or turn invisible or, you know, bring me blah blah blah. But he's he's trying to figure out a way to have it actually mean something. So you did teach him a little with the last wish. But anyway, yes, October. Uh, he asked you to come by his house because he's crazy and paranoid. Alright, so, well, I'll be alright. I'm on my way. Alright. We screen wipe because I don't want to take too long about you doing that stuff. Because it's already, you know, 9 o'clock over here. And I don't know when people need to leave for stuff. But anyway, I'm not interested in how you get there, I guess I should say. You arrive. You're in his room. I don't care about blah 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 with his parents. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you haven't seen Brian Nash's room lately. Uh, full blown conspiracy. We're talking. He's got the cork board with the string and the pictures. He's got stacks of handwritten notebooks everywhere. He's got pages out of his notebook scattered around. 
all kinds of stuff. So, well, someone has been busy. Yeah, he kind of gently rocks back and forth inside his bed. He's like, yeah, busy. Busy's a word for it. So, I guess I should start. So, um, he kind of gestures vaguely his cork board. Yeah, I don't know how much you'll believe if I cover it all, so I'm not going to go into it. I'll just stick to the stuff I need to know about. So, I think there's something going on with this Dionysus Club. You know them, right? Are you at the party on the stuff? So I'm at the rally. Yeah. I'm, I'm not really sure what's up, but there's something going on with them. And you said to come to you, I know, so I remembered to come to you. I need some help looking into this, because... Okay, that was Mark. Was Mark? Uh, so we dropped out. Anyway, um, so he says, uh, you notice as he's speaking, by the way, he kind of oddly uh, clutches one of his hands, kind of covers up the fingers, uh, and he's like, but I don't think it's safe for me to go out Do I figure out something, or I might say something, whatever. Anyway, it's not a big deal. Um, what is a big deal is they're moving stuff and uh, things, I think. And I think some of the kids at our school are involved, like Nadine and Juanita and stuff. That might be why some people are acting kind of weird, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm slowly I need going to... around this room and uh, looking yeah. at stuff, like talks. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, on the conspiracy board, there are, in fact, thumbtacks with different code string going to pictures, probably like printed off Facebook or something, of Juanita and Nadine. Uh, and there's a blank space where there was an index card earlier, but that was given to somebody. Kind of funny. A little bit of a blank space. Anyway, but he basically he, he goes on expositing, and he's like, so, um, I don't really know how this is distributed or whatever, but listen. There's something going on at the, at the Institute, right? And Dionysus Club is part of it. They're like, some kind of front for some weird operation. Uh, and I'm trying to trying to figure out what they're doing. Um, I'll be right back. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Uh, it's close to 6 o'clock, which would be close to 7. Yeah. I mentioned the time earlier. I don't know. I don't know what he needs to go. Um, Recording-wise, we've been going for... Just under like an hour forty-five. Okay. Uh, that's that's decent. I figured we'd probably long. wrap up this scene with October okay. and maybe see what Zach wants to do in the morning, just so I know yeah. what we're doing next time. You know, I'm also yeah. trying to figure out how to exposit to October yeah, without, right. you know, <laughs> giving the whole shebang away because Brian doesn't want to do that. Yeah. Um, if you just want to spend some time in the morning after you wake up, like, you know, tending to your can... weird bruises and stuff, resting, right. rolling some bandages, yeah. you can do that. Uh, you can go ahead and scratch sure. one harm off. Yeah. The... Right, that's one harm. Yep. Would, uh, uh, would, the blo uh, would the bloody lip be gone with Aziz as well from getting some overnight rest? Yeah, you got some rest, you took some time out. Uh, you okay, explicitly went nice. somewhere safe for the night, so yeah, you can erase right. one harm. So, right, I still have one harm to deal with. Yep. Yeah. I'll have to wait until a new session. Or find someone. Mm -hmm. Anyways, this Please. is about the time that uh, my Friday Night Magic stuff starts, so I should head out right now. Uh, that's you that's be fine, going on honestly. Much like, longer? We've been... Um, well, we might be a little while, it depends on when Lucky gets back, but it's fine if you need to go. Uh, we've yeah, just had a scene with you, you know. Uh, we'll probably just be doing a couple more and wrapping up. I don't think there's... Yeah, there's not, like, end of session XP or anything, so it'll be fine. Yeah. And if you okay. want to check into it later, you can always yeah, listen back. Alright, then. Okay, I'm back.
Okay. Kirby was just... He had to leave. But that's okay. We're almost done. All right. So, October. Uh, Brian continues to talk crazy at you and make half sense. I'm going to stop talking in character and basically summarize because I feel like I can actually get more done that way. Interrupt them. Okay. <laughs> and it's all like, this is all finding, finding grand, Brian, but if I recall, you said you'd come to me first when you needed help. Yeah, and? You, you didn't. You can't prove that. He's instantly suspicious hmm? of you. It's like, promises have power, Brian. When you make a promise, you should keep it. Otherwise, bad things happen. He, he's eyeballing you suspicious. He stands up from where he was sitting in his bed. He's like, how would you know that? How do you know things? Do you want I to? You. What are you doing? He kind of looks right. you up and down. No, you're not carrying anything. Oh, no, no. We could, everything could be made, Brian. Eat. Excuse me. Everything could be made better, Brian. All I gotta do is tell me who else do you have helping you and what do you got on them? No, I can't. You're not safe. I don't know about you. He uh, stumbles back over to his desk where he picks up a letter opener. He's like, no, I don't. I don't know about you. I don't know everything. I can't. Can't tell you that. It's dangerous. You, you know um... things you shouldn't know. He's gonna whip out the, the. He's gonna gesture vaguely, threateningly at you. And be like, I can't. You're with them, aren't you? You're with the Institute. How do you know? Oh, oh wait, let me see here. Let's see here. No, Brian, no, I'm not with the Institute. Um, I'm gonna spend my string on him for him to suffer one harm. Whether the cause is obvious or not. Is the obvious obvious or not? Yeah, uh, let's see here. It's, uh... Cause is, uh, obvious. Okay. Um... I, I want him to end, like... Let's see. Uh, do I just leave that up to you, or do I, like... I mean, you could say if you have an idea. <laughs> it's, um... Fair openers. Is, what kind of letter opener is it? The one that actually is like actually like is the, the small blade, or is it like the covered blade? No, it's, it's it's an actual small blade. Yeah, well, like he's he um you know he's swinging it around and it just slips out of his grasp and you know just gets him good. What are you thinking, like hand foot? Uh, hand or foot? Yeah, not like. Really. All right, um, I it amuses me more. It, he drops it right on his his bare foot. Uh, it's not deep because it's a letter opener. Like it's not, it's yeah. not really meant to stab things. You got to try pretty hard. Uh, and it's kind of a cheap one, but it like digs into his foot a little, and he kind of drops. It. He's like, ah, shit. See, when 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 promise, promises are broken, bad things happen. You don't want bad things to continue happen, happening now, Brian. That sounds like manipulated NPC. <laughs> <laughs> so much manipulate. Uh, with the threat being, you're gonna make bad shit happen to him. Yeah, I am. <clears throat> I got nine on this. That's eleven total. All right. Uh, if you. They'll do what you want if you give them a bribe, a threat, or a motive. Threat. So, it's like, alright, alright, okay. I can't... Alright, I can't... I, I shouldn't explain everything, I guess, but... Um, I'm working with Aziz on this, alright? I asked him to do some solids, to look into some stuff. He was here earlier, I already talked to him about it. He's the one I talked to first. We have an arrangement, I guess you'd say, going on. Uh, 
His eyes kind of narrow. You should be careful crossing me and Aziz. You don't know. You don't know things like I know things. You may recall he did babble some stuff about quote unquote knowing everything and he could know everything about you if he wanted and stuff when he was in the school nurse's office and he was slightly crazier than he was now. So, you don't know. It's a little weird. I do believe I said uh, who's got working for you and what you got on them. That's only... I told you, we have an arrangement. It's like a, like a contract. Half of what I want to know. Why are you working here? He's like, I told you we got like a contract or a deal going. He he owes me a couple of times for some stuff. And then when the favors are used up, it's done. That's how it is. I can't I shouldn't say more. It's not safe to say more, okay? I don't even know if I can trust you for reals. You just being weird with a freaking letter opener. He kinda half half hearted tosses the letter opener at you, it kinda bounces off your shin. It doesn't even really hurt. not how this is going to work for me. And I got another string which I'm going to spin for more harm. That's all okay. strings on Brian. But, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Let's have another obvious <laughs> obvious damage, but... Okay. Uh, we're going to cliffhanger this. We're going to end the episode yeah. now. Oh, okay. Because you need to be careful. You really shouldn't spend so many strings on NPCs to cause them harm. Uh, his bookcase, weighed down by his giant piles of notebooks, oh. falls over and smashes him under it. Oh, God. Flat. It makes a loud uh, sound. There's some blood. And you see his hand stick out at you with a very ornate, exotic-looking ring on it. <laughs> yeah, so I guess nothing can go the way I want. Fine. That's. Yeah, no, I mean, NPCs are supposed to be fragile. That's, you can watch that deal in harm. And that's the way how. Yeah, and that's how the way that, uh. Fairy powers work. Start out small, and then they go bigger and bigger and bigger until you get hit. Whammo. Yeah, I know, but I specifically asked. What does, he what does he have? Who does he have working for him? What does he got? I got half my answer, so apparently I have to keep going to get the other Well, he answer. he tried giving you the answer, and I don't know if that was just me cutting out or not. He told you three times he had an arrangement that involved so many favors that uh, Aziz owed him wow. X number of times. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't say for what. No, I can say he didn't want it because... I know, I know, but telling you that Aziz is a magical genie and he owes me two more wishes, he really didn't want to say that because of stuff he knew that now, alas, he knows no longer. <laughs> Which is good, because Brian was kind of an annoying character. <laughs> <laughs> so, more people die. So the body count ticks up. Yeah, yeah Brian. Brian. Scratch a name off my list. How many people have died like Oh, oh, one unknown guy. One unknown body. <laughs> uh, and then uh, no, you uh, you killed two Dionysus Club scrubs. The oh, right. Scrub. So you you that's bit one guy's arm off what? and he bled out because nobody fixed that guy. Uh, and they, they looked at the guy with the crushed ribs. They didn't really fix him. Because they had to cover up. So he died. And now... Brian Nash is dead. Yeah. And we're going to figure out uh, what happens. Oh, what happens right. And... <laughs> That's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. So much fun. Yeah. I keep forgetting that NPCs don't have health tracks. Yep. They, do, they don't have full harm tracks. They they run out of harm when I think they run out of harm. <laughs> right. 
It's just like whatever is the most dramatically appropriate you now the hell for our NPC. Oh, he should have that came to me first for help. He should have, but yep. he was crazy. <laughs> he was now he's crazy. Dead. And now he's, he's crazy dead. and dead. And there's a mysterious ring lying on the ground. Oh, did it like fall yeah. off his hand? Yeah, let's let's go Lord yeah. of the Rings in, on this and how creepy it is. Yeah, it rolls off his finger. <laughs> because the exact well, text, I, will, yeah, I believe, I think... of uh, the vessel... Make a wish, touch down. Make a series of things are for you. Some are marked P. Vessel cannot be destroyed. Da, da, da. Yeah, That's I think it just... It just uh, will leave their possession, so it does so. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll turn it again next session to make some headway. Something. Yep. Rip. Yep. Well, yeah, uh, next session you're going to have to deal with the fact that uh, you accidentally killed a guy with your magical fairy vengeance powers in his bedroom. It made a lot of sound, yeah, but... He had an overlaid bookshelf. My fingerprints aren't on dick. Yeah. A perfect mm -hmm. crime. Yeah, yeah I just they're magic fairy like, crimes. Magic fairy crimes. Like, he was very excited, and he, like, hit the bookshelf, and it came down on him. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, so happen? next session, you're going to be talking to the police for five hours. There we go. That's good. That's going to improve your mood. <laughs> Yeah. It's like, By the way, I don't think you you have not taken a scene to rest and refresh, so you're still sitting on one harm. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, where did you get that? I fell down. I thought I belly flopped into a pool. Yes. A high school antics. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, actually, you wouldn't know that they don't seem to know much. That at least nobody's reporting much about the party going awry. I don't know, I'll just say, you know, generic yeah. party at friends. Explicitly chose not to check the news and find out that there's a giant cover up, like there's some kind of sinister conspiracy in the one institution in this town that actually matters. <coughs> right. And now Aziz <laughs> is the only one who knows that. I'm just like, yeah. That'd be fun. That was stuff and. Alright. Uh, October, are you? I should ask. I don't you know if he actually cares. If he, I don't know if he actually cares. If he killed someone. Uh, what is the playbook called? The Fae. The world. Mm, gee. I suspect that uh, October does not. Well, I mean, yeah, that was talked about being with dark self thing. Oh. Uh, I don't see why you'd care that you kill those people. Yeah. We're monsters, man. Yeah, yep. total complete monster. That shit happens. He should have given me what I wanted to know. Oh, yeah, yeah it's too bad he was a paranoid wreck from those his other people... encounter with another monster who was an asshole to him. <laughs> R.I.P. Brian Nash. He just wanted to be student council president. Yeah. And... <laughs> His and ambitions were too great for this world. Honestly, his ambitions were too little was the problem. Yeah. Okay. We we yeah, set his we set up his character too milk toast. <laughs> because it was milk a pain in the ass for me to figure out a wish. And now October could just put on that ring. Yeah, that's what I was trying to ask. October, are you gonna take the ring? Uh, I thought we were just leaving it there at, at the cliffhanger. Oh, did you want to leave that be taking the ring? I you well, to would you the take ring? the ring? Yeah, because I'm gonna have to explain. Okay, you pick up the ring because I'm because gonna have to explain it... this to Kirby when he comes back next session. <laughs> when we do this, hey, you like... don't have a master no more. Yeah, so Brian's dead, and October has your ring. He's gonna be like, "What?" I'm, I'm, I'm and Brian's dead. So yeah, uh, listen to the last uh, like October... 15 minutes yeah. where you missed. <laughs> October's magical fairy powers crushed him. Uh, all those strings you've got on uh, Brian, just go ahead and erase those. And erase the whole strings that you have on Brian that Brian has on you. <laughs> I feel good that I only had two on him, and now I don't about it anymore. Yeah, nice. You, you spent them both, and you took care of that problem. 
<laughs> that thorn in your narrative. Uh, just, yeah. yeah. I, I think that's a good place to, to end this recording and insert the musical yeah. outro sting, which is gonna be Yay. the fucking funeral march by Chopin. Okay. Okay. <laughs>